Hello, good morning to you and welcome to Business for the Morning on News Desk. Now, events planners are calling for tax rebates on their uh, on current government for tax rebates on their operations. He says there's a, need, there's a need to grant them tax reliefs on their operations since they have become necessary to help them generate more jobs in the country. Some statistics have revealed that the year-on-year -year growth of the events industry is in excess of 300%. Speaking to Joy Business at the official launch of Florence Event, a professional creative events company, CEO of the company, Josephine Hutton's Mills, says there's a need for a curriculum to institutionalize the event sector. The event industry is where people spend money. And so definitely if government gives us that support and we can build our small businesses properly, we add to GDP. It is a very difficult industry to run because it's capital intensive. Every year you have to change things you have, you know, the trends change. It's very difficult for some of us because sometimes you need to import things, but things like flowers are considered a luxury good and so the duty on it is very high. It makes it expensive because the end user who is the customer has to pay a lot for fresh flowers. So um, it will be good if some attention can be given to the event industry and, and, and see how it can grow. At the end of the day, if it's doing well, GDP does well, the economy does well, we employ a lot of people. It will be great if some tax rebates can be given. It will be great if some, something can be done on the duty, on the things that we bring in. It will be good even if um, some support in terms of um, um, education. There aren't many institutions teaching people formally, you know, equipping them to be in the event industry. A lot of our technical schools, yes, we have the home economics, but when it comes to setting up an event, when it comes to event planning, coordination, they are very technical. People take it for granted. For many years, people have felt that it is for people who drop out of school. The Institute of Fiscal Studies, IFS, is cautioning government to tread cautiously over its revenue projections in the 2019 budget. The Institute, in a post-budget press conference, noted that the revenue target for the year is over-projected and will be difficult for government to achieve. Total projection for 2019 is about 10% higher than the previous year. Government's total revenue and grants for 2019 is estimated at 58.9 billion Ghana cities, 17.1% of the rebase GDP, up from a projected outrun of 46.8 billion cities, constituting 15.7% of the rebase GDP in 2018. According to Finance Minister Ken Oforiata, the government is committed to instituting measures to help meet the target. At its first post-budget media briefing in Accra, the Institute for Fiscal Studies noted the revenue target is over-projected and must be reviewed. Leslie Duad Mensa is research fellow at the IFS. In the Fourth Republic, in percentage terms, the projected increase in expenditure of 27% is the highest since 2012. While this policy reversal was not exactly anticipated by IFS, it did not come as a surprise to the Institute because the consolidation process since 2017 has seriously constrained fiscal policy and affected economic growth. Therefore, it was just a matter of time that some policy stimulus would be injected into the economy. We note that just as it happened in 2017 and 2018, total revenue and grants has once again been overprojected, high above what can possibly be collected, resulting in a small but artificial difference between total revenue and grants and total government expenditure. So while the expenditure growth anticipated is, is historic, in our view, the, the total revenue and grants supporting the expenditure seems overprojected. The Institute is also calling for a total overhaul of some public sector programs to minimize government expenditure. Senior Research Fellow explains the reason why. This year, the three items will be more than 
the tax revenue. Same thing has happened last year. So from that perspective, the 2019 budget is not different from the 2018, the 2018 budget. That calls for, you know, or, or strengthened our call for us to increase or enhance domestic revenue mobilization. But coming to your question, what do we have to do? We are saying that wages and salaries and compensation for employees is very high. So what do you do? You cannot just go and sack people. What you need to do is to have a complete and comprehensive public sector reform. The IFS, however, lauded the finance minister for the attention given to the agricultural sector and other key sectors of the economy. And that's all in business for the morning. My name is Emmanuel Apwaji. We have a good morning. Okay.